Then he said, Blessed are you of the Lord, my daughter, for you have shown more kindness at the end than at the beginning, in that you did not go after young men, whether poor or rich. Yeah, I'll say something here. You know, this does not suggest the fact, you know, some of you that go out with elderly people, that's not what's trying to, <laughs> you know, suggest that uh, you don't go out with your age mates. The Bible is not suggesting that at all. Because one member marriage is, before you, you, you connect to somebody, you have to define purpose first. You have to define purpose. If you can define purpose, then who you get hooked with in, in marriage does not really matter. So let purpose be defined, then you know who you're supposed to be connected to in marriage. <laughs> Amen. And, okay, talking about purpose, I'd just like to say, I think in, in uh, Israel at that time, when a man dies, leaving a woman childless, then there's the nest of kin, the nest relative who is supposed to take the, the woman as wife yeah. and raise up children for yeah. the dead man. Mm -hmm. So that's purpose. I mean, according to the law then, that this man is a nest of kings. The nest of kings. Who wants to you know, accomplish that for the dead relative? Yeah. Yes. So, to marry him. Yeah. So it, it was not for Ruth to seduce him because he's rich or because he was old, but it, so that purpose can, can be fulfilled. fulfilled. Yes, that's it. Let me say something about seducing. Because some of you men out there, you say, oh, she made me did it. She made me did it. Amen. If you were not in lust, you cannot be seduced. The reason why you were seduced, you were already operating in lust. And Bible said, when lust graduates, it will give back to sin. If you are not lusting, you will, <laughs> you will not find yourself in that place because <laughs> before any uh, sexual activity can take place, it's well planned. It's well arranged. You plan to meet in that hotel, you, the room number. You know, I mean, it took time to go book the hotel <laughs> and give out the room number and all those things. It was planned. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 11. And now, my daughter, do not fear. I will do for you all that you request. For all the people of my town know that you are a virtuous woman. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everybody knew. That she is a virtuous woman. Here, I'm, 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 I'm going to st uh, stop and let us say something about the character. Some major things, character we have seen so far in the life of Ruth. Virtuous woman, because this will take us to, to go look at Proverbs 31 and find out what, you know, what are the characteristics of a virtuous woman. What, what make her, what, why, why did this man have to call her a virtuous woman? So, uh, one of the things you need to say, because I personally, I saw in the life of Ruth, royalty and obedience. Mm -hmm. I saw commitment. So, I don't know what any of you saw. Respect. Respect. Oh. Humble. Humble. Mm -hmm. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Yes. Not proud. Uh-huh. Not hard working. Yes. You see, as for those things we just mentioned, they are also the fruits yes. of the spirit. We saw kindness. Yes. So we saw love at work. Yes. And we saw the characteristic of love. Yes. Yes. You see that operating in the life of you. Oh wow, she's just a wonderful person. She's a bum. Yes. Like you guys you say she's a bum. <laughs> I mean she's just having all together. Wow, wow, she's really a wonderful woman. And I'm not surprised why God had to choose her. Mm -hmm. And her background, your background did not really matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can change your background. I'm not, I'm, I'm not underestimating what your environment can do for you. But you can, you, you can rise up strong in the midst of those negative environments we were brought up from. You understand? If you want to, you can make a difference. That's just all we're trying to achieve or get across. Yeah, if, if you leave it to your background or how you were brought up, you will never go far in life. But you need to determine and tell yourself, you know what? My back background is this way, but I'm going to make a difference. Because you have a choice in the matter. Hope her, kiss the mother-in-law and go back to a familiar zone. 
But now they said, no, I'm an adventure person. I'm, 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 I'm going to exploit life for good. I want to respond to something different. And the lifestyle Naomi was something different, even in the, in, 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 in the city of, uh, of Moab. They saw something different about Naomi. No, Ruth saw something different about Naomi that make her cliff to, to her. And you understand that? So you, 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 it doesn't matter what you've gone through. Like now, if I have uh, 50 euros with me and I squeeze it, you know, throw it away on the ground, spill on it, kick it, that does not stop that money from being 50 euros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. That money can still fulfill its purpose. Yes. With all of the abuse, mm -hmm. simile that I've given to that money, but it's still going to fulfill purpose and destiny. So where you've been, your background, what you've gone through, doesn't really matter. If you, if you, if you really want to succeed, you will succeed. Amen. And I'm telling you that God is behind you, is for you, is in you, Amen. and you will succeed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you the step forward that He's the only one that you need. Some of you friends have left you because you lost your job. You know, the guy walked out of your life and you think it's over. It's not over. There's never a new beginning without the ending. There has to be an ending to have a new beginning. Yeah. Because that chapter has come to an end in your life. So God is opening another chapter for you. That's why I can tell you, even this season of your life is a season of new beginnings in the name of Jesus. Amen. You say, Pastor, do you say new beginnings? Yes, I have it. Yes, new beginnings in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we saw that uh, the, uh, the fruit of the Spirit was operating in the life of, yes. of Ruth. Yes. Character. Character. Amen. Amen. Let's go on. In verse 12. Now it is true that I'm a close relative. However, there is a relative closer than I. Wow. Stay this night and in the morning it shall be that if he will perform the duty of a close relative for you, good. Let him do it. I like this about this man yes. also. Yes, I would like to say something concerning Boaz because we discussed earlier that your character speaks more than, than uh, more about you. Yeah. Because the way we just discovered now that, that Ruth, she was really walking in, in, in love, that was love at work. And if we see even Boaz, the, the way Boaz approached her, communicate with her, we can also say that Boaz also was like love at work, amen? amen. Because the way he, he could have said even, yes, I'm the kind man, so let's just get married and just do this. But no, he still knew that there was someone before him. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he didn't just go ahead, even though he could, but he chose not to do that. That is such a wonderful character of Boaz.